Welcome to the video today, everybody. And I hope y'all are ready to get into some spring DIY projects. I'm gonna show y'all some very inexpensive, but some really easy and fun projects to make. So let's get started. The first project I wanna show y'all is, we're just gonna use one of these little dollar store shadow boxes. A lot of times you can pick these up at Dollar Tree, or sometimes you can find them at Dollar General. This one right here I have upcycled a couple of times, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scrape off all the graphic that was on one side. Now you've got two sides to a project piece like this, but you can use whichever side you want. But I'm gonna go with the side that was the smoothest because I'm gonna use a napkin on it and decoupage it so I don't want it to be a rough surface. So once I got everything scraped off, I gave it a couple layers of white paint. That way I've got a good white background because napkins can be thin and you're gonna be able to see through them. So you're gonna want to paint your background white. Now I took a bunny napkin. There was a couple of different designs on it and I just took the one that would fit inside this little project piece the best. Now I always use DIY liquid patina for my decoupage medium, but you can always use Mod Podge. I always apply my decoupage piece in sections and I just work side to side. Now I always like to roll over mine with a brayer just to work out any excess decoupage medium and also any wrinkles or bubbles. You wanna let it dry really good and then I go over the top and I seal it up really well. Once everything is dry, then I'm just gonna take some scissors. I'm gonna go around and cut off the excess napkin. You can also use some sandpaper for this, just whatever method is easiest for you. Once I get it trimmed down really well, I'm just gonna put it back in the frame. And now we've got a beautiful piece that we can set out and display for spring. And really you can leave this out all year long. Now I'm gonna show you another really inexpensive project to make, and that is a hang tag. Hang tags, a lot of times you can find these blanks at Dollar Tree or Dollar General, and you can pick them up, you know, for a dollar. But I'm just gonna take a graphic. This, I think, I got from the Graphics Fairy. I printed it out last year. I always like, a lot of times when I see graphics I like, I go ahead and print them out, and that way, if I don't use them right away, I keep them in a folder. So I went through my seasonal folder and I found this that I'd printed out last year. But the Graphics Fairy has thousands of graphics to choose from and you can just search on, you know, Easter or rabbit hang tags and a lot of selections will come up. But just using a glue stick, I just cut the pattern out and using a good quality glue stick, I just adhered it to the hang tag. Now I'm just gonna go around and I'm just gonna trim up the edges just to remove any excess paper. And yet again, you can also do this with sandpaper. I actually used both on mine. Once I got it trimmed up with my scissors, then I went around with my sandpaper and just moved down the edges really well. This makes a beautiful hang tag. Now we've got the hole at the top. I'm gonna to go through and go ahead and punch it, punch it out. But you can see I've still got some paper left. You can always put some ribbon through that as make a hanger for it and you'll never see that. But I'm gonna add a little decorative piece to it. I think it needs a little bit of ornate detail. So I'm taking this little wood emblem. I always have these linked in my Amazon store, but I always have these on hand. As you can see, it was longer than the one I'm about to put on it, but we trimmed it down. We just used a little X-Acto knife and trimmed off those edges until we got it to fit the hang tag. Now I'm just using a little bit of hot glue, but you can also use wood glue, and I'm gonna apply it to the hang tag. Now I chose not to paint the little wood emblem, but you definitely could, but I thought the color of it in its original state really matched a lot of the colors of my bunny. Now we've got a beautiful hang tag that you can set up in your spring vignettes, or you can put a hang tag on this and hang this on a, on a wreath. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to show y'all a beautiful piece of decoupage paper. I've got several new pieces of decoupage papers that I'm going to use for some spring and some summer decor. But I'm going to take these rabbits and I will have an affiliate link to a website that has a ton of beautiful decoupage papers for you to choose from and that's where I get a lot of mine but they got some beautiful ones to choose from and I know you'll find a lot that you're going to enjoy to put on your projects and they're very inexpensive so with you know just using a thrifted frame this I actually got at a yard sale back in the spring last spring and I think I paid a couple of dollars for it now, I did not like that little centerpiece on it, so we took that off, but we will reuse it here in just a minute. We're not going to waste any part of the frame, but that little piece that I took off, I needed to paint over that, so I just took, went over it with a little bit of, I think I used the color drop cloth because I felt like it matched my frame, but you just want a good background before you go and apply your decoupage paper. I cut out one of the bunnies. You got two of these to a sheet, and I absolutely love this little bunny design. And again, I just applied him using my DIY liquid patina. I rolled over him with my brayer. A lot of times when you're decoupaging on wood, if you will apply heat to it, it really will make it go into the contour of the grain of your wood. So I just went over it using my blow dryer. Now we've got a beautiful little bunny wall decor piece. We can hang this up or you can set this out in your spring vignettes. Now let's take that little wood piece that we just removed from the frame. This right here just really spoke to me and I got this sheet of little bunnies and look how many designs you get on this. This sheet right here is a great one. It's got so many beautiful bunny graphics on it. But I thought this one matched really well for the little wood piece. And again, I'm just going to apply it using my DIY liquid patina. I apply it in sections. And I usually like to decoupage using a sponge brush. But you can always use like a paintbrush too. But I'm just going to roll over it. Make sure it adheres to the the wood really well and then I'm going to let it dry and once it dries and I'm going to go back in it had like some little screws that looked like little thumbnails that were on the sides and I'm going to go in and I'll put those back in but I'm going to go around and just kind of rough up the edges just to make make it look like it is made onto the wood and I'm just going around with a little piece of sandpaper and I get my packs of sandpaper at the Dollar Tree I absolutely love their sandpaper and anytime they have it in stock always pick up a package of it so i'm just going to put those little screws back in it i thought those right there just added a little bit you know a, you know just an element of rustic little farmhouse look and this now will just make a great little piece like i say you can add a hang tag to this hang this on a basket or a wreath or just set this out in your spring vignettes and i thought he turned out so cute and i think he pairs really well with a bunny that we just made Now let's use some more of those cute little bunnies on that sheet of decoupage paper. I always have scrap wood pieces and I have like a whole basket full up in my craft room. So I just kind of went through it, dug around, and I found a couple of pieces of scrap wood. This one right here I thought fit the best for the little bunnies for the size. And this right here has already got two holes, you know, in it. So I'm just going to use it. I think this is just a scrap piece of pallet wood. And like I say, a lot of times I have little pieces of this just left over from, from different things. And I always save it. And I just applied him using my DIY liquid patina. And like I told y'all, go over it and use some heat. And it'll really contour down into the grain of your wood. Now I'm just going to add a little rustic little wire hanger to this one. 
and that's all I'm going to do to this. So just using a free piece of scrap wood and this beautiful little bunny graphic, now we got another little cute piece that we can set out for springtime. I've always told y'all if you don't have scrap wood laying around, you know, and a lot of us don't, uh, you can always pick up pieces a lot of times at the thrift store. This piece right here had like a um, dream on one side. It was, I guess, a sign, but I'm just going to take the, the other side that doesn't have anything on it and I'm going to go over it using my candle wax. If y'all have watched my, my channel very long or from the very beginning, y'all know I love to use candle wax. If you put that on the base of your project before you paint it, it helps your paint distress really well. And sometimes you don't even have to use sandpaper. You can take, this is just like a little pampered shelf, little plastic spatula, but you can also use like an old credit card or something like that. You just want something that you can scrape over your piece and just kind of scrape away. And anywhere you put that candle wax, your paint will scrape off. Now, I'm going to apply another one of the bunnies. I'm just giving y'all lots of ideas. If y'all order some decoupage paper, I'm just trying to give y'all ideas of things that you can make that are fun and easy projects, but they're very inexpensive and budget-friendly. So, I'm just going to apply this other bunny. Well, you know, we put the other one on that little frame that I got at the yard sale, and I had this one left over from that sheet. I thought he was too cute not to do something with him. So I just applied him to this little sign that I got at the thrift store, and that's all you have to do. Now we've got another beautiful piece that we can set out for spring and also for summertime. But, you know, and I didn't mention, I did go over and I painted the um, piece of wood. I painted it with white linen chalk paint, and then, too, I just go around it with the sandpaper once everything dried really well. Just to give it more of a worn, distressed look. Just to make, make it look like it is worn and made into the wood and not just something that we, you know, decoupaged on. But now we've got another piece that we can set out in our spring vignettes. y'all are enjoying the video so far and if you are make sure to hit that like button now we're going to take some bottles now y'all i love to pick up bottles whenever i see them at the thrift store or yard sales and i got a bunch of bottles at a yard sale and i got them at a really good deal i think they were all one dollar each because it was the last day of the yard sale and they wanted to get rid of them. So I just picked out various ones and the more aged they look, the better. I did wash all of them, but some of them did not come clean. They just have aged over the years, but I love that. So I'm going to take some more of those little bunnies that were on that piece of decoupage paper. I cut them out and just, you know, put them on my bottles and which ones fit the best on the size bottles that I had. And I'm using various sizes of bottles. This is a very fun project, but, but like I say, just get creative with it and use whatever bottles you have on hand. And a lot of times, you know, things that we buy at the grocery store that we use to prepare our meals and stuff come in bottles. So before you throw something away, look at it. If it's a bottle or maybe a jar, don't pitch those in the trash can. Clean them up and, you know, put some pretty decoupage paper on them and make some pretty decor for your home. So I'm just going around, I'm applying all my bunnies that I have to my bottles, and now I've got some beautiful pieces that you can set out and display with our other bunnies that we made.
I'm never going to leave y'all hanging on more ideas. I'm going to take some Totally Dazzle jewelry that I have. And y'all, they have a gift um, box full of crowns. I'm going to leave an affiliate link to Totally Dazzle down below. But I love these crowns. But I went over some with some rub and buff that I got. Just to give y'all some ideas. If you want to change the color of your crayons and make them look a little bit more ru rusty and rustic looking. I have just went over the one that's right there on that bottle with the bow that I tied on it. Just to give you a little bit more ideas of how you can add some beautiful crowns to your bottles. Just to add another element of detail. Well, after making all the previous projects and making the bottles, I still have one bunny left. Well, I'm not going to leave him behind. He needs to become a pretty spring decor piece also. I've got this one left over and I went through my supplies and I found this little piece that I got at Target a few years ago in the bullseye section. I, I didn't do anything to it. I just applied him using some decoupage DIY liquid patina, and I just applied him to the back side of the little plaque. I did remove the tag, and I took the hang tag, uh, little twine hang tag off, and I just put it back in after I got it decoupaged on and it dried. Now, just another $1 little piece that was so simple to make, but I think he turned out absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm about to share with y'all another beautiful sheet of decoupage paper that I got. And remember to check out my description. And I'll also put this affiliate link in a pinned comment. But make sure to go out and check out this website and get some of these decoupage papers. They are absolutely beautiful for spring and, you know, in Easter time. But this one right here, I absolutely love these bunnies on these. And I'm going to show y'all some ideas of how you can take some thrifted frames. Frames are very inexpensive to pick up. You may have some around your home that may be... You know, you just want to change out the, the the graphics in them. Or you may have some you found at thrift stores. And a lot of times you can pick them up at yard sales. Very inexpensive. I'm just taking some various frames that I have. And I always have a huge selection of frames on hand. But I'm just using some cereal box um, cardboard. A lot of times I save our cereal boxes because they make great project pieces. But I just cut out a size to fit in the frame and using a good quality glue stick, I applied this decoupage paper to the cereal box cardboard, put it back in my frame and it was easy as that. So a lot of times you don't even have to use decoupage medium to apply your decoupage paper. You can use a good quality glue stick. Now I'm going to take another frame that I have, and this frame right here used to be gold. I picked it up at, I think, a yard sale or a thrift store, paid a couple of dollars for it, but I have already painted it white and distressed it in a previous project. But I'm just going to go around again with a piece of the cereal box. I cut it out and cut it down to size, and now I want to size down the decoupage graphic. And to do that, I just went around and made some marks of where it would set down into the frame. Once I had it down onto my piece of cardboard where I needed it, now I'm just going to apply it again using a glue stick. And like I say, you don't even have to get out your decoupage medium. A glue stick will work just fine. Now I just applied it. I rolled over it with my brayer just to smooth it out really well. And then I went around and trimmed off the excess paper. Now I'm just going to put it back into the frame. You don't even have to put glass on this. That is just optional. A lot of my frames don't have glass. I added a pretty pink ribbon to it. And now I think this made another beautiful piece that we can set out. You know, it is so easy to make your own 
beautiful wall decor to match your home. And that is the fun of getting creative and making your own projects. You can make them to suit your style in your home and choose the colors that you love. Here's another frame that I had in my supplies. I got this at a yard sale for $1. But you know, if white is not your color, dark colors are great also. I'm gonna leave the frame the original color. And since this frame had a glass in it, I'm gonna utilize that piece of glass. I just scraped the sticker off of it and using my glue stick, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to apply to the glass of the frame. So if your frame has a piece of glass, use it and you don't have to cut out, you know, your little piece of cardboard that we've been doing with the cereal box. And I applied it to the glass and it works really well. Now my, my decoupage paper did not meet at the top. I needed just a little bit more. So I just took a scrap piece and I applied it at the top to fill in that piece of glass. Now I'm just gonna put it back in the frame and now we got another beautiful piece that we can set out for spring. taking another frame that I have, and I love the ornate detail on this. I am gonna paint this one white. Now you can go back and use some wax to go back into these grooves and bring out some of that detail, or you can also, you know, wet distress it and bring back some of that black. Once I got it painted all white, I just chose to leave mine all white and I did not distress it. Now this one, I am just gonna cut the, the graphic out and I'm gonna put it in the frame. Now I'm gonna use a little piece of little paper that was in the frame and apply it to it, just so it'll hold it into place. And I just use a good quality glue stick, applied it to the, the paper that was in the frame, and I'll go around and I scrape off any paint that I got on the glass. This glass was glued into the frame, so instead of trying to get it out, it's easier just to scrape your paint off once you're finished. Now I'm gonna put everything back in the frame and now we got a beautiful, piece that we can set out in our spring vignettes and I think these turn out so pretty and you can always style all of these together and make a really beautiful vignette. Okay, y'all, we are at the end of the video, and I don't know if y'all enjoyed the video as much as I did creating it. I absolutely love bunnies, and I hope I brought y'all some really easy and fun projects, and I hope y'all will try these. If you do, make sure to tag me over on social media. I'd love to see pictures of the things that y'all create from the things that, that I show y'all. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel, because I would love to have you back. I post videos weekly, and I have a lot of content coming your way. As always, I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all truly make my day. I will plan to see y'all again in my next video, and until then, I hope y'all have a great week, and I will see y'all soon. Bye, y'all.